you think that nootropics are the steroids of esports? Yes. Like confidently yes, and not you're not shying away from the term steroid. They work. Nootropics, or smart drugs, are an emerging class of compounds that encompass everything from pharmaceuticals like modafinil to specially formulated supplements that target the brain in order to enhance cognition. While traditionally popular among biohackers and online communities, nootropics have been gaining traction in mainstream society, especially in esports, an industry with a projected revenue of $1.1 billion by 2019, where enhanced cognition could become a competitive advantage. We went to San Francisco to meet with Ben Fuji Watley and Alex Novosad, two members of Gangstars, an esports team recently sponsored by a Bay Area startup called Nutribox, making them one of the first esports teams to be sponsored by a nootropics company. While nobody knows what the exact effects these nootropics will have on esports competition, the future implications of these early partnerships between esports teams and nootropics companies are potentially enormous. Oh, it is. Oh my God, what am I doing wrong in my life? This is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, another beautiful room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is kind of the dining room area, if you will, but uh, but yeah, I use this as my work and, and gaming space when I can. Do you have any vainglory paraphernalia around here? I do, I do. I actually, well, I guess to start with, I have this big, giant, like, congratulations, Check. we won the league. I also have this. This was from when we won. It's uh, basically the vainglory trophy, which is kind of cool. Ben's team plays Vainglory, a MOBA, or multiplayer online battle arena game, played on mobile devices. Although less than two years old, the game has quickly become the most popular of its kind in the world. What, do you want to practice Catherine since you just did Finn? Uh, just warm up with that, then. Nice. Ben, Alex, and the rest of the Gangstars team have been taking Nutribox smart drug stacks to see if they can improve their gameplay. The Nutribox stack consists of four products called Rise, Yawn, Sprint, and Kato 3, which are taken daily. These stacks contain numerous compounds and extracts such as alpha-GPC, L-theanine, and melatonin, which are designed to target and enhance the brain's cognitive abilities. Run me through your daily nootropics routine. Well, I'll eat some breakfast uh, and take two Rise and two Kato, uh, which is kind of the, the morning suggested stack. And then as the day progresses, I have the opportunity to take Sprint. It has a caffeine element to it, but it's laced with L-theanine, which is a way to make you kind of get that energy boost. But at the same time, it doesn't cause you to crash. It doesn't cause you to feel jittery. While nootropics consist of a wide array of compounds, they target the brain in three main ways. One, increasing neurotransmitter levels. Two, increasing vasodilation or blood flow to the brain. And three, protecting neurons from dying. We went to the Nutribox headquarters to see Jeff Wu, who thinks esports are the perfect platform to test and push development for their nootropics. I think that it's the fundamental human desire to want to be better. The notion of, hey, can we enhance our cognition with different regimens, different nootropics? It seemed like a very natural way to make a difference and in, 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 in get in there. Back in early 2014, the space was a wild west. We started really just like diving into all the different nootropics forums and all the different biohacking threads. You got to order like powders off like Alibaba and they come in like just white sketchy bags. Imagine a layman just, you know, ordering this and mixing themselves. Like it's pretty dangerous actually. And we sort of just wanted to sort of start trying these and brought on MD PhDs to help us like validate some of the claims. And now it's becoming a lot more standardized and, and productionized. Nutribox just sponsored an esports team. Tell me a little bit about the relationship that you have with Gangstar. If your basketball player has like your Gatorade and your protein powder, what's that analogy to your sports gamer? Well, that would be like nootropics. 
While the effectiveness of nootropics is difficult to analyze, the members of Gangstars have been taking online tests to log their progress. Team manager Alex Novosad collects his team's results on a weekly basis. A week ago, we did a first round of tests where we said, um, okay, let's, let's, let's see your baseline. Uh, two of them have to do with concentration, two of them have to do with memory. Today, we'll have them take more tests to see if there's any change. And then for the next you know, three weeks, we'll do more of these tests to see how they respond over the course of a month. Hey, Maxi, uh, so I wanted to check in about the tests for the players. How did they look? Did you compare? Alex has his team using a series of online exams called the Cambridge Brain Sciences Test. These weekly assessments measure memory, reasoning, attention, planning, and problem solving. So this one I'm going to be taking is, um, it's called the digit test. It's basically just trying to see how many numbers you can memorize. Zero, one, five, three, two, eight, seven, nine, six, two. My brain Zero, just shut one, down. Zero, <laughs> one, five, three, two, eight, seven, nine, six, two. Did you get it? I got it. Whoa. So I'll score 10 for the test. The ultimate test will be about a month from now when there's the live championships. And I think once we've taken our Nutribox stacks for about a month and a half at least, will we feel a difference when we're up there performing? Will we notice our concentration being a lot more focused? But the nootropic space is fairly new, and research on the effectiveness of different stacks is limited. We also don't know the long-term risks of taking smart drugs. And in esports where the players are young, this is a concern. We don't really know how they affect the developing years. And for most esports leagues, the average age or the rule for starting is like 16 or 17. But for Vainglory, it's very different. There's actually like 11, 12, and 13 year olds that are competing. If you have competitors that are young that are taking these during development years, like how much studying do we need? Can we really allow you know, kids to, to make that decision? And I don't think you can. So this is still a bit of an unknown territory. So what kind of moral or social questions should we be asking ourselves when we're looking at nootropics? Look at the numbers, like over half of Americans have tried some sort of antidepressant. A quarter of college kids have tried Adderall. This notion that, hey, we're not comfortable with like manipulating our own brain state, it was just kind of like a untalked about, like it's like an open secret. So it's like, hey, let's like take it out from being something that's weird to talk about and let's like, talk about it like adults and like let's figure out the right way to do it. With every innovation in this area, we, we also have to always have someone there next to us, like tapping us on the shoulder, reminding us, like, there are some consequences that come from this kind of thing. But people have to be pioneers uh, in, in this world, and, and some of us like to take the risks, and I've always been someone who likes to be there first, and this is an area that I'm, I'm willing to, to be in.